Basically, this is what I did. It was this is the the map of the United States? I highlighted the whole route for uh, what would be Route 66, even though it's not listed on here. It's all interstates on the big map here. But coming down from Milwaukee all the way down to 55, take 55 all the way to St. Louis and the 44, go on 40. In the Amarillo, Albuquerque, and then uh, Santa Monica is not listed on here, Los Angeles. Is, so we just, since it's in the same area, we just put that as the endpoint there. But basically, that is the uh, route for the trip we're going to be taking in a couple of years. And it's important to me because uh, I guess from what I've read and saw there's a lot of cool stuff to see along route 66 back when i was a kid uh road trips were still very popular and nowadays uh they're pretty much a thing of the past except for us old timers and nowadays most people are in such a hurry and they fly they don't take road trips in the morning it's well how quick can i get there me, this is like, uh, from what I read, this should be about a three-week trip if you want to see pretty close to everything or everything that you can along Route 66. Uh, I might trim it down to two weeks, but uh, uh, it's important to me because basically it's what I call forgotten America because everybody's in such a hurry to get wherever they're going now. Nobody takes time to stop and smell the roses. So I think this is going to be a pretty cool trip to go on. So I wanted to share this with you. Uh, this is my uh, uh, hog touring book for uh, full hog members that I got. Um, yesterday a friend of mine gave me a 2017 Road Atlas of the United States that has Route 66 in it. And I wanted to see if Route 66 was listed in this one. So I'm going to take a look through here and... Uh, See, pretty much what I found out here, if it's uh, uh, updated the same as uh, the other atlas. So this is Wisconsin here. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, it's just smaller maps. So here's where we are in Milwaukee. Take uh, I-94 all the way down into Chicago here. All the way till we get to 55. 55 is where Route 66 is supposed to start. Yes, yeah, it's supposed to start right there. Now, there is a place in Wisconsin over here around uh, Monfort that says uh, Route 66, but that's not historic Route 66. That's just, uh, I think, a Wisconsin 66. That's not part of the original uh, Route 66, because that actually started in Chicago. The Route 66 in Wisconsin here is uh, something completely different. And that's around in this area over here. I'm or, sorry, it's over... Where is it? Uh, see, it's Prairie du Chien, Fenimore. It's, it's around in this area right here where Monfort is. There's a sign around that area it says Route 66, it's a green sign. But like I said, it's not part of the historic Route 66. So going from Milwaukee, you take 94 all the way down here to 55, which is where the original, the real Route 66 starts. That goes from Chicago, Illinois to Santa Monica, California, through eight or nine states. Okay, so here we are for Chicago here. You so say you take 55 down, keep coming down. If you look, right here is what you're going to see. This is what you want to look for, this little 66 here. That's historic Route 66. So you just stay on 55 here, all the way down, coming through, going into East St. Louis here, and from East St. Louis, here's 66 going into Kirkwood which is where there's a hog chapter down there 
Uh, our Milwaukee Hog chapter met up with them last year. And then you, once in St. Louis, in Missouri, you go on 44 here and uh, come on down. I think I'm going to highlight this route. That's what I'm going to do to make it easier. So here we're in uh, Missouri. We're on 66 and uh, by exit uh, 195 here. So I have to use a combination of both maps in order to do this. I believe I left off in Missouri. This is my hog map. And then this is the road atlas that my friend gave me from 2017. It's a lot bigger and I had to highlight routes because when you get to California, this bigger map kind of details it a little bit more. But I like to explain some of my concerns with this too. Sorry the video is a little shaky here. Okay, so going here, I made it easier. I highlighted a little, little blurry. I highlighted the route. As you can see, you look for the little boxes that say Route 66. So coming all the way down, okay. Some of the stuff was highlighted in here, like this St. Louis. You can see it's a different color. Coming all the way down. And then, of course, this is all different color. I didn't highlight that. But you come down through St. Louis, Kirkwood, on 44. Keep going in here, going into to Springfield, all the way to get to Joplin, Missouri here, Oklahoma and Kansas City. Now right here, the shortest stretch of Route 66 is going through Kansas. It's only about 20 miles long. Keeps coming down in here, getting back on 44 until you get to about here. It comes off on its own side road. 66 is the original highway before the freeway was put in, so the freeway actually parallels Route 66. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to get down into Kansas real quick. So we got to go back to the uh, other page. So here we are in Kansas, and I had a harder than heck time trying to find this because, like I said, it only comes down through this little piece of the state here. Uh, yeah, Kansas City. I had to come all the way down here to Joplin to find it. It's not really listed, but this little road here with the little arrows, this is Route 66. And it comes back in, it comes down in here by Miami, Oklahoma, back in the 66, going back into 44. Now we're going to go to Oklahoma. Before we go to Oklahoma, we're going to go back into uh, St. Louis here. And uh, like I said, you got 44. I didn't finish highlighting it here, but you got 44. Goes into Route 66. Keep following it down in a Springfield, and then keeps going through Joplin. And like I said, this little corner here, this is Kansas. Comes on down right there, and like I said, eventually goes back into 44 here. I didn't uh, finish highlighting it yet in this map or this atlas. Now this is back in the hog uh, book. Like I said, coming through Kansas there. As you can see, just keep following the highlighted area. 44, all the way down through Tulsa, Edmond, Edmond, keep following 66. And then it goes into the Panhandle of Texas. Um, we're going to expand on that on a little bigger because the map here is a little bit small. It goes through Armarillo. I'll show you this map first in the hog book, and I'll show you the one in the bigger atlas, which is much better detailed. So here's the map of Texas. The top half where the panhandle is is not up there. They put that down here. So coming from Oklahoma, still at 44, which is also 66. And just keeps going into Armarillo, into New Mexico. Now we're going to switch to the big atlas. So here's the big atlas coming down right here on 40. Keeps going through, going through Armarillo, all the way into New Mexico.
back with the hog atlas now we're in New Mexico coming out of Texas it runs all the way through past Santa Rosa going into Albuquerque then it comes up this way and then it comes back down right over here now once I get to New Mexico I might get on uh it was this 285 here and come on down into Roswell and see that since that's a tourist attraction. Uh, rumor has it that's where the aliens landed. And what's funny is there is a Las Vegas also in uh, New Mexico, close to Santa Fe. But I might stop down there in Roswell and see where uh, the aliens supposedly uh, crashed. Okay, again in the Hog Atlas here. This is uh, coming out of Gallup, New Mexico. On 40 here, going into uh, Arizona. Going past Flagstaff. Now from Flagstaff, Arizona, all the way to California with the desert. Uh, I did research on Route 66, and they said get through there as quickly as possible. Because minimum temperature during the, the day especially around August, is 120 degrees minimum, and that's with the shade. They suggest that each person drinks at least a gallon of water. Also, shake out your boots for scorpions, uh, spiders, snakes, all kinds of stuff. Staying here, right to, it gets to here by exit 123, just a little bit past. Route 66 splits off by, uh, was that, Peach Springs? And it comes up around here, bypassing the freeway by Kingman. Now, once I get to here, um, I could probably take 93, take a detour, go up into Nevada. I got a friend who I went to school with. She lives up in Las Vegas. Um, might uh, Once I'm ready to take the trip, I might give her a call, see if she wants to get together. Uh, we're going to switch to the big map real quick. But anyway, you know, if I were to go straight, you know, Route 66 comes on down here through Mojave, uh, going through Needles, you know, because it, it comes down and connects to uh, 40 again, and it goes up into Needles there. It's a big atlas. It's a little more detailed than the smaller one. comes down off of 40, keeps along 40. And then right here, on a smaller map, it's hard to see because 40 goes into Kingsman here. Come off of here, and 66. Like I said, I got a friend who lives up in Vegas. Uh, it would take 93 up there if I were to go that far. Otherwise, if I stay on 66, 66 um, on the other map, it's too small, so you, you know, can't really see it. But on this one, it's bigger. Comes off here. And I think this is where Route 66 actually splits because they, they ripped it up and redid it over the years. So it could go into here into 95 and then 95 come down or come down here back into 40 going through needles, which I think it does. I know it goes through needles for sure. And then here it splits off again up towards 95. And you got this little road here that goes this way. And it goes into uh, California. Now on a small map again here in the hog book. Like I said, it's not as detailed. As you can see, Route 66 is off of right here. But I also highlighted both. So now when you get into California here, it gets a, a bit more tricky because you got all these different roads. And in California, I was told that they removed a lot of the Route 66 signs because... So when you get into California, like I said, it gets a little tricky because you got all these different roads. And they removed some of the signage from what I've been told and what I've read. So certain roads will be like, turn here, turn there. Um, but going down into, you know, you keep getting past needles and you come down off of the side road here on 66 which goes back into 40 by Mojave and Barstow. And then, uh, 
I forgot which way it goes. But I think it comes to, it comes down in San Bernardo over here. And eventually it ends up uh, out here in, in the Los Angeles Santa Monica area. Which is the only place I can find Santa Monica on is right here. Now we're going to switch to the big map to get you a little better idea since it's more detailed. So here coming out of Arizona, um, like on the little map it just showed this, but coming down off of 66 here, like I said 66, uh, it splits down here. And then I don't know if this comes up into here and goes, or if it comes down into here and then goes up, but it comes up to 95 here into California and then comes off here back into 40 going past all this in this this is San Bernardo County out in the Mojave Mojave Desert area goes into Barstow here and then like I said this is where it gets a little tricky um, from what I've read like I said it runs some of it runs into the 15 some of it doesn't some of it runs into the 210 the 5, the 405, so I got some friends who, who are uh, actors and martial artists out in California, and uh, one of them told me last year, he says, when you're ready to make your trip out here, let me know, and I'll put a itinerary together for you on places to see, and I'm going to see if he can get me some uh, better directions for Route 66 out here in the California area, because like I said, it all gets all messed up out here. But coming out of Barstow, come down to here, Route 66, and then comes down into this here, which is the 15. And then I think from here, it goes down into the 215 in San Bernardo, and then comes across here. It's the last, uh, I think this is the last area I see Route 66 in. Um... That's the last number, I think. And then, I'm not sure if it comes it comes down into, uh, this is 60 or, or what. Or, you know, this is the, the 10. You know, I don't know if it comes across here. Or if it comes down here and comes down into, uh, the thing said something about going into the 405. So, I'm not, sh like I said, there's so many roads here. I don't know which way Route 66 goes in Los Angeles anymore. Because uh, it's just not listed in certain places. But, uh, either way, if it came down into Santa Ana, past Anaheim, goes into 405, and then up here. And then Route 66 officially ends, not in Los Angeles, like they say, but in Santa Monica at the Santa Monica Pier. Or... If it comes, once you come off the 15, you go through Los Angeles to the 10, which I believe eventually comes down into this road and goes again into Santa Monica. So, um, like I said, when, when you get to this area, this is what kind of screws me up here because I have no idea which, uh, which way it, Route 66 goes when you get down into California. So once I get into California here, and I get out to uh, <clears throat> uh, Santa Monica area, um, which is in here, uh, there's a few places I like to see. Um, I like to take, uh, so you got the 101 freeway. What I like to do is I like to take uh, Highway 1, which goes into the 101 here. It's State Highway 1, also known as uh, Pacific Coast Highway. It goes all the way along the coastline here. I like to ride it all the way up to the, uh, as much as I can, to the tip of Los Angeles. And just ride the coast all the way down. You know, in, uh, Oakland and San Francisco. and um, Oakland's a place I like to visit. Uh, many years ago, back when I was a kid, there was uh, a big fire out there in uh, 1991. It's known as uh, 72 Hours in Oakland, the Oakland Firestorm. Uh, Wilshire Boulevard, Berkeley, um, the canyons. Uh, I had to go pay my uh, respect to the Oakland Fire Department out there. Um, 
And you got San Francisco Bay out there. I like to visit uh, Alcatraz. Um, it's another place I uh, always wanted to see. And then just continue on down the coast. And, uh, you know, you got Santa Barbara, Santa Maria, you got Los Angeles, Santa Ana, San Diego. Um, maybe I'll stop to see my cousin since he's out at the Navy base there. If he's still out there when I go that way. But, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of uh, places I'd like to, to see out there. Here's a bigger uh, area of, of the map here. You see the the road in red along the coast here. Right here, this is uh, all Pacific Coast Highway. You got Vandenberg. You know, it's a lot of places. But like I said, right here is in the Los Angeles, you know, state on Route 66 in Santa Monica. Uh, I might have to see if I can buy a... Los Angeles City street map to see if uh, they got uh, a turn-by-turn -turn, uh, way of staying on Route 66 and some of it they removed the street signs and some of it's just uh, city street names now here's another area of the a map you got Oakland here and then here you got uh, you got Alcatraz Island you got Treasure Island you got Angel Island uh, for anybody who's seen the movie The Rock with Sean Connery, Treasure Island was very popular in that movie. Uh, so yeah, that's a place I want to visit out there. Like I said, there's down San Diego. My cousin's at the Navy base down there. If he's still stationed there, when I go out there, maybe I'll pop in and see him. You never know, given the fact I serve too. With uh, the United States Civil Air Patrol, which is part of the U.S. Air Force, uh, maybe I can get a small tour of the base. You know, who knows? Just kind of highlighted that along the way, just in case I make a pit stop. Find this here, and I hope I did this right. This is on the bigger map. Um, once you get into Los Angeles, uh, so I think you take. It's the 40, you can't see it, but it'd be the 40 down to the 15, to the 215 in San Bernardo, I think. And then you'd come right down here, uh, whatever that is. And then this is where Route 66 is, right here yet. Foothill Boulevard. And then, like I said, right here, on most maps, this is where I lost Route 66 from, right here in Laverne. So, the only thing I can speculate is because Route 66 is not listed on the rest of the map here. This is for Los Angeles. Um, i taken an educated guess. And um, I'm thinking, once you get here, you just continue on here. Because, like, you got 39 here, but there's nothing else that says Route 66. Because I removed the signs and that. So I'm thinking you come across here. And either you're on the 210. You either come down East Pasadena. South, you know, take that take that all the way down here. Mission Road maybe into the 10. And take the that along the Santa Monica Freeway. All the Santa Monica Pier here where it ends. Or when you're on the 210 here. You come at Laverne. Come past the 210. I'm thinking maybe down here, this is, was it Fair Oaks Ave, into the 110, the Pasadena Freeway maybe. Keep going down the 110 to the 10, and then Santa Monica Freeway uh, out there. Or maybe you take, uh, when you're here, the 110 down to the 101 maybe, I'm thinking... This is probably, I'm thinking Sunset Boulevard here, over here. This is probably where the 101, you got the Hollywood Freeway. You come down off of 110 to the Hollywood Freeway and Santa Monica Boulevard, the Highway 2, and and then come down here. And it's got, uh, 
I don't know, it's got to end there somewhere. It's not listed, so. But that's the best I can find with uh, what's left of Route 66 here, because it's not listed over on this portion. The last place you see Route 66 is right around here by Laverne. So it's one of these, one of these roads. Like I said, it's important to me because I want to take the the route, as much of the original route out as I can without trying to detour or getting lost on some other roads. But basically, uh, looking at the two road atlases, uh, I like the real big road atlas from Rand McNally a lot better than uh, the Hog Road Atlas. Because there's just a lot more in the Rand McNally Atlas. But basically, that's uh, the best I can do for the trip for uh, Route 66. Um, I'll have to figure it out once I get out to California where it goes once you pass, once you get past Laverne. So, like I said, this trip is a couple years out, but it uh, it's good to start planning sooner. So right here, this talks about a little bit about Route 66 and the different uh, areas you take. When I was talking about taking Pacific Coast Highway, I mentioned starting at the tip of Los Angeles, but I was pointing to the upper part of the state of California. What I meant to say is take the coast up to the tip of California, not Los Angeles. Uh, these are some of the uh, locations where they removed the road signs, and uh, they just go by street names now. This is all what used to be Route 66 out there. Um, and like I said, uh, unless I have an actual city street map that's big enough to see, it's going to be hard trying to find the original route once you get out to uh, California and you get between Laverne and Santa Monica, trying to figure out, you know, where the heck it all goes. Because as you can see, there's a lot of different streets here that these, this was all Route 66 and now they just go by these street names. They don't go by Route 66 anymore. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much that, and uh, I can't wait to take this trip. You know, I'm I'm really gonna like it, and uh, I think it's gonna be very cool.